All right, well, today's video is bittersweet. It is the last video for the 1988 CRX SI Restore project. The new owner is scheduled to pick this car up here in a few days. So this car will be leaving the garage and opening up a space here, hopefully for the ITR, for a little bit of work on that coming up. Now, I am going to do a price breakdown of what I spent to get the car to this point. So let's get this thing uncovered and let's talk about the prices. All right, if you've been following along since the beginning, you'll know that I did replace a lot of the body panels on the car. So we'll talk about the exterior of the car first. I did end up spending, let's take a look here, $16.25 on replacement body panels and miscellaneous things. Now that includes stuff like the front bumper, two new doors, left side and the right side door. I did buy a replacement sunroof panel. I bought a replacement fender as well as a replacement rear hatch. Uh, there was some damage to all those things that uh, warranted buying replacements for and a lot of these things had to be either uh, shipped in here or I had to have some people uh, go and pick them up and bring them to me because they were several hours away. So that does increase the cost of those items. Uh, another thing, uh, I was going to the wrong side, but it's actually the patch panel here I had to purchase. It was a little, about, a little over $100, I think it was about $120, the replacement panel that I had to weld in there as well. So that added to the cost of the replacement panels. Uh, the body itself was in good shape, but just some of these other auxiliary panels that uh, could be bolted on did have to be swapped out. I did get a new front lip as well. Not new, but replacement that I did do a little bit of repair to and repaint it. Uh, everything turned out really nice. So it was $1,625 for the replacement body panels for the car. When it comes to the interior, we had a lot of wins in here, uh, simply because we were able to reuse a few things and get a few things for free or a lower cost than uh, today's market actually has them at. Now, the climate control that was in the car actually came intact, not broken, all original. So that saved us about $300 from actually having to buy a replacement climate control. That was huge. The door panels, the European uh, style door panels, were actually a trade I did with a guy over in Germany that he wanted the CRX uh, SI 88 door panel logo. I was able to uh, pull that off of the panels, clean them up, and send them to them, and we did a straight trade for that. So just shipping cost on that, which was minimal. Uh, so that's a huge win for the interior, as well as the dash and the carpet. I did take the carpet and the dash from my parts car, which I'm not including in the cost of this rebuild, because I was gonna buy that parts car anyway for the engine. So those are basically free items that were used for this rebuild project. Now the seats I'm sitting in are actually European seats as well. Um, when I bought them, I ended up spending $500 shipped to have these seats shipped over here to me. So that's a huge win as well because the market for these seats is definitely going up and the price of these are anywhere from $900 to $1,200 depending on, on the condition. And these are in really great condition, no rips or tears. So as far as the interior is concerned, we ended up spending a total of, let's take a look here, the seats were $500. The interior plastics uh, and replacement items were $840. So that's $1,340 for the interior parts. All right, moving back to the exterior of the car, there are some items here that I did not include in the body panel replacement cost. And mainly because they're smaller items, we'll consider this the, the trim and clip section. It's gonna be things uh, like the mud flaps here. The OEM mud flaps, I did buy a used set of those. I did buy a set of OEM uh, replacement uh, door protector trim for both sides and the clips that come with that. Um, I, I was able to reuse the, um, I guess they call this the belt molding on both sides. I was able to reuse that and I didn't have to buy any replacements on those. I did reuse the cowl, which was a good thing. That was all intact. I did have to buy a uh, replacement uh, windshield seal here. Uh, antenna cover, that's a 3D printed antenna cover. I had to get a couple of uh, B-pillar trims as well. They were broken. Uh, the quarter glass trim, I did buy a new OEM Honda trim there. Uh, now, the, on the rear here, I did have to buy new uh, rear triangles. The ones that were on the car were in bad shape. One of them was actually missing, so those were included in this trim piece here. The 3D printed wiper cap here, I did find somebody with one of those. That was pretty insignificant cost there. Uh, one of the big wins here on the trim was the Golden Air Parts Sunroof Seal. They were a uh, sponsor for this build, and they did send that out to me uh, to use, so that was a big win for that. Uh, I did have to buy a new rear hatch upper trim here. 
because the one that was on the car was a uh, pretty rough condition and it wasn't able to be salvaged so the total for that trim po portion of this uh, re rebuild was seven hundred and seventy two dollars all right next up is the suspension portion i did replace a lot of the suspension components including the bushings now i ordered new front lower control arms rear lower control arms i got a new rear trailing arm bushing some of the other front bushings as well like the sway bar in links those bushings were replaced uh, there's really like the upper control arms in the front the uh, toe adjustment arms in the rear the camber adjustment arms in the rear really a lot of those suspension components were replaced and that ended up costing $642. All right, now while we're talking things underneath the car, a lot of the other items, uh, part of the suspension in a way are like the hubs, the wheel bearings, the axles, uh, different items like that, the brake calipers, the brake rotors and pads, uh, the brake master cylinder, uh, the rear wheel bearings, the front wheel bearings, those hubs were all replaced. Um, I used OE replacement parts for most of those items there, and the cost of that ended up costing $566. All right, this is going to be the second highest cost category of the Restore project is really the engine bay and uh, miscellaneous engine items. Um, I did replace all the motor mounts, got a new coolant reservoir, had to buy all the new uh, fluids for the vehicle, filters. I have gaskets I did replace. I did the timing belt, the water pump. I had to buy a new fuel pressure regulator, spark plugs, uh, distributor O-ring, cam seals, um, what else, the new alternator, a uh, new fuel filter, new fuel pump, uh, different items like that. I got a new battery, new battery terminals, uh, battery uh, tie down here, um, a new air filter. A lot of the miscellaneous just maintenance items that you would normally do on any car that uh, we had to clean up in here and really make sure to take care of. Uh, the total cost of all of that ended up costing uh, $1,114 for the uh, engine maintenance portion of this restore project. All right, now while we're in the engine bay, one other thing to talk about is going to be the AC compressor here. I did have to buy a new compressor as well as recharge the system and uh, change out the O-rings, different items like that. I ended up actually buying another evaporator inside I had to buy a new line as well as the fittings to convert to 134A. The cost of all that was $640, and most of that cost was really just the compressor. I bought a brand new one just to avoid any future issues with that item there. While we're still up front, the next thing is going to be the lighting portion. I did buy new headlights. These are the European spec headlights and corner lights. And I also ended up buying a replacement set of taillights. The ones that were on the car were cracked, not salvageable. So I bought a whole new set of rear taillights. I ended up putting one of my replacement OEM style CRX decals on the rear. Uh, the total cost of the headlights, the taillights, and everything ended up being $381. All right, I know a lot of people really liked the pace setter exhaust that was on here. Uh, but we did replace it with the HKS Sport. I found a good deal online and used a coupon code for this one. Ended up costing $584 shipped. This is not made for a CRX. It's made for the 88 to 91 Civic, but we did cut it down, make it fit, and it looks amazing. All right, this was something that I was worried about during this restore project, whether I was going to be able to source a new windshield, but I was able to do that through a local glass supplier. Uh, I did buy the windshield molding separately myself to save a little bit of money. Uh, so I included the cost of that windshield molding in the trim section, so it's not included in this cost of this windshield. Uh, what is included in the cost of the windshield is for that glass company to come out, uh, replace the windshield, as well as uh, pull out the rear quarter glass and reinstall it once I got the car painted. That total cost uh, out the door was $336. If I had someone repaint the car and not do it myself, that would have been a much more significant portion of the cost of the project. I did end up doing all the body work and paint myself here in the garage. I just used this 33 gallon Craftsman air compressor and a Harbor Freight paint gun. Um, I did have to buy a lot of materials for this project. I had to buy a primer, body filler, sandpaper, uh, filters, strainers, different things like that with the, for the paint gun, uh, paint cups. There's a lot of miscellaneous items you don't really think about like tape and uh, masking paper. A lot of things like that that end up adding up very quickly and that's why paint jobs cost so much money because there's a lot of supplies involved in that. Um, after the paint cost and all the things that I just mentioned, I was out $684, uh, which honestly is a pretty good deal uh, in today's market for paint and clear coat 
and all the miscellaneous items that I needed. I did have some of that already you know, from previous paint jobs, but most of that I did have to buy new. All right, that concludes all the costs I've spent for the car. So if you've been following along and adding it up, you'll know the total by now. But I do want to say thanks to Golden Era Parts for sending out the sunroof seal and the door jam seals. Uh, they make uh, awesome parts uh, for your car. They also have some cowl parts, uh, other seals uh, for different chassis, so check them out. Thanks to Resto Tuner for the engine bay bolts, the decal kits for the engine bay interior and door jams, things like that, the rear taillight gaskets. These guys are making awesome restoration parts for your vehicle, so definitely check them out and support them. Thanks to Max Speeding Rods for the coilovers. So let's go ahead and check out the total of what we spent for this car, what I sold it for, and how much I'm going to make, not including my labor cost. All right, what you've all been waiting for, my total out-of-pocket spend is $9,557. That price does not include a single hour of labor. Now, I have been working two years on this off and on in all of my free time uh, after work and on weekends to get this accomplished. So you can almost double that or even more uh, if you wanted to include labor costs. So you're talking $20,000 plus uh, of time and material and product spent on this car. Uh, I love how it's turned out. I'm really happy to be done with it. It's a task to restore a car. If you're looking to do yours or you're right in the middle of yours, go ahead and see it through. It's worth it in the end to see it like this and all complete. Um, whether it's worth it financially, that's hard to say. Um, I did end up selling the car for, drum roll, $21,000. New owner will be here in a few days to pick it up. That leaves me with a profit of $11,443. Um, so that's really the cost of my time for this project over the last two years. Um, that is a good uh, bit of profit for this car here. This is the high end of the market for sure on the CRX that's not all original. Uh, considering the condition though after the restoration, um, I think that's a pretty fair price for me. I'm happy with that price. Um, I can be happy uh, going home with that for the last two years of work. So I hope the new owner is happy with it. I really do thank you guys for watching this over the past two years. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we'll have something new in here in the near future. In the meantime, we're going to be working on the cars that I've got. So stick around.